what is good friends we are back we got a lot of smog on tour coming up today we have the flame teeny versus ample series here they're starting with black and white and i have to close my window real quick ample brings some moltres rain really interesting so that moltres is gonna have every game for sure and yeah what i'm gonna do next is i need to play my music i forgot So this Bronzong is gonna set up the rocks. Is the laddie might have trig and try to cripple the Bronzong? Not sure if that Sunrise would be double dance. Yeah, looking at Flame McDini's team, he obviously has a Harald stacking team. But the Ferrozone is probably going to be Spikes and either the Land or the Trend is the Rocker. But I could also see um, one of those mods be Scarf. Like I could see the Land being Scarf because now we see that the Trend is revealed to be Balloon. As that's probably offensive Trend. I've seen that set on the calculator yesterday when I was watching the other Black and White series. Yeah, the Magma Stone did some chip to the uh, Politoed. But the Ferrothon is coming out here, I'm pretty sure. I mean, Flamic Team can make a risky play. Actually, there's no point. Because uh, his opponent cannot double switch. Because he's trapped by Magma Storm. So yeah, he's just gonna go Ferrothon here. I mean, Lattice has other resist to Hydro Pump, but I think Ferrothon is just the best play. Because, like. You either get up a spike or a lead seed, and like that, don't, I don't think they would have done much unless it was a uh, specs pump. Yesterday we saw specs polito, but yeah, we do see a uh, double switch into Ladi. So I can see a specs Draco getting dropped here. Um, like he could click surf if the Jellicent wasn't there with water absorb, and like in general, Jellicent and Polito both with this surf, but I thought I'm pretty sure he's gonna drop a Draco on this. Never mind, he goes for surf. I thought he wouldn't go for surf because of Jellison and Polito. That didn't do much, so that's maybe it's the death Bronzong. I don't know much about black and white. Let me see the Kalk. Oh, Bronzong. Oh, I have to go to black and white here, right? And they're playing kind of fast. Yeah, all you tank Bronzong runs like mixed defensive, so maybe that's a Scarf Laddie, then not a Specs Laddie. Cause like the <clears throat> he drops a Drago this time. As he's not gonna be able to tweet KO the Bronzo. As he did try to predict Ampu to go into one of his water types this time. Cause last time he went for Surf. Did we miss anything important? The last one's not really. Bronzo is just gonna double out into the Moltres. As we see leftovers on Kelly, so we will see if it's Scarf Moltres as Flaming Teeny switches out scouting for Scarf Hurricane. As it's probably not Scarf because Ember just switches out. So Terrence was a great play that had covered Hurricane, it covered the Jellison switch, and he can just go for Crunch if he's banded. And the Excoded was resist, but it does do a good chunk. I'm not sure if that's banded damage, but it could be because that actually did a really good chunk. Chai Oranita or your choice band versus Excadrill. Crunch does 40 to 48. He said that probably wasn't banded then. I said Ferrosaur slash Landros was pretty obvious there. But yeah, Flame Victim makes a great play there because the, the, the Polytoth would have covered the Landros switch. But he goes in, in the Ferrothorn instead. Can get up a hazard here if he finally wants to do that. Okay, yeah, there we go. And I assume he's gonna switch out predicting the Tyranitar here. Maybe a few turn? Okay, he just goes for Hurricane. So that kind of confirms that he specs, because he just, like, I mean, he was thinking that earlier too. Because that would do a good chunk to offensive Titar, even though it's. It can miss, because Titar will get rid of the rain. But like Tita or Heatran is like, I like his only resists, and they'll still take a good chunk. I 
Um, Ampo has Halo Control and his x Girdle, but the thing is... It's getting chipped kind of fast. It's gonna be at like... 60 or 50 something. How much does the spike do? Is it 7%? Oh uh, man, I always forget how much a spike does. Uh, it doesn't say how much it does F. That's embarrassing that I don't know that. But it does out into... Thunderous, which makes me think that he has Focus Blast, because that would hit Tyranitar and Heatran, that would hit both. Oh, it also would hit Ferrothorn. Um, yeah, this, this is a big threat. Like, the only Focus Blast switching would be... Laddie. I don't think he would go Landris on the Thunderous, because you don't know if it's choice. He does just go for T-Bolt, get good damage out. A flame between wins is a will always, um, which sucks. I think we're gonna see the Latios come out now. I don't think that's a world in which Flame Victory is staying in. Oh, he is staying in, okay. What do I know? <laughs> yeah, if Laddie gets a kill here on the Bronze Zone. Does that make me think that it's maybe Fist Death on the Jealous End because he didn't want to bring that in on the Laddie? The yeah, Moltres is just going to click Hurricane, I assume. He does show the U-turn finally. I don't know why, like, like, one time he doubled out. I don't know why he didn't U-turn there, like, earlier. Maybe he didn't want to take... He didn't want to reveal his set, maybe. Right, the only reason you would bring Thunderous um, is you notice this offensive turn T-Bolt can kill, but I don't think that would kill, unless it specs. And I don't think it specs from the damage it has dealt to offensive heat and so... I feel like this has focus blast then, like I said earlier. Still 100% sure though. Of course they have to start off with black and white, but I don't know much. Like usually I, sh I shouldn't even upload black and white, but like... I have to, like... Oh, he goes for superpower, okay. So that, that makes a lot, a lot of sense, he doesn't want to risk missing and like... Superpower instead of focus blast, okay. So that's a Scarf Landers, gets a crit U-turn. Like, the only reason I record black and white is because I want to bring you guys the entire set. And I have obviously know the most in Sun and Moon. I know, like, black I know Auras, but I always also forgot stuff about Auras because, like, I haven't played that in forever. But yeah, black and white I just haven't played, and I usually. I should only upload it with guests, but, like, this game just started, and, like, no guest was here to mute for me to record with. Yeah, it was a really great play with Flaming Victini going into Kelly on the Hidden Power Eyes. Someone might sh might say played like shirts. As Ampo, I can see Ampo staying in here making a really aggressive play because like the jealous end is obvious, but he just just played safe. I could have seen a double into Tita there on the jealous end, but he didn't do it. I mean, Ferrothorn works. Cause the even if it stayed and it went for super power, the Thunders had an attack drop already. This just played safe there. In case Emperor wanted to go for Wisp on the Feral, and he can scout what the um Specs Moltres locks itself into. As that does five million, good lord. The protect is pretty obvious here, but like I don't see why you wouldn't click protect. Like you just click protect there, it's pretty free. Or you go into T-Char, but Tita might get 2 KO'd. Yeah, he just clicks Protect. Yeah, Tita would have gone blown away. It was a 33 of the rocks. Oh wait, the rain is not up. He was able to hit a hurricane outside of rain. Okay, that's... Not everyone can do that. He's gonna go kill you here. I'm probably gonna be able to live a superpower, but he doesn't even go for superpower. He goes for U-turn. Damn, that's so interesting. I don't know what all these mons run, ran in black and white. Jellison gets a free will over spear, pretty much. Flame Victini can go either the Feral Zone and try to hazard stack or go for a lead seed, or he can go um, 
I don't want to. I don't know if he wants to go hard on Tita because Tita is like his best way of revenging this. Yeah, okay, he doesn't want to go hard Tita. That makes a lot of sense. He does just go for Skull. Does not get a burn and. I'm gonna see a Draco, I assume. Draco picks up the Thunderous, that didn't matter, obviously. And he can go in with. Oh, Politoed or Excadrill really, here, but he chooses Politoed. It's the way to change back the weather. And the minus to Draco wouldn't do much to this anyway. And it could also be Scarf Politoed. I don't think we know that yet. Yeah, it is Scarf Politoed, and he picks up the Latios. Okay, so that's at least something I knew about black I know about black and white that they like to run like scarf sometimes. <laughs> Looking kinda bleak for Flame Victini, I think. Um actually Land Landorus can Landorus can win this game for him. With Earthquake spam. But yeah, he has to get rid of the Moltres or he has to predict the Moltres and go for edge on the right turn. So he just wants to change the weather, and he's either bulky and he's able to live a pump, or he's gonna just switch into his uh, Ferrothorn here. Yeah, I can see a switch into Ferrothorn. Other than that, I can see a crunch. If he's really confident that he can live ahead. Oh yeah, he's locked into Ice Beam, what am I saying? I thought he was locked into Hydro Pump. So yeah, the, the pursuit is pretty obvious here to get rid of the, the Politoed. Man, I'm sorry guys, I'm messing up today. But he just does just go for Crunch, I assume, as next schedule came out, like... Oh my lord, what? What? What the god? Flame Victini the god. What? How did he know? I mean, yeah, Excadrill was a Crunch resist, but like... That was a gold play, good lord. I, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense then. Like, that makes a lot of sense because you either pursued there if you wanted to predict the Polytot to switch out, but like, I thought the, the Polytot might have stayed in there because it was locked into. Because the pursuit was kind of obvious, is what I'm trying to say. But I can't completely understand Flaming Teeth's play. I didn't know that Cheetah carries Fire Blast. But that makes me. I mean, I know that Cheetah carries Fire Blast, but I thought it's it's more so on like bulky Cheetah. What, is at least what I have seen in uh, Auras. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I, I clocked the damage early. I don't think it was Banta, right? Let me see, does miss a, lead, miss a leech seed, and this hurricane is gonna hurt. You have to pick a fodder here. I mean, you can go Tita and try to dodge. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Impulse is just gonna click this again. No reason not to. Um, darn it, dude. I really have to get someone to call for the next black and white series. Or um, next game, I mean. But yeah, there's a lot of smoke juice um, coming today. Um, ABI is probably playing tomorrow, that's not sure yet. Alcans might be playing with his Bengay later. Blunder is probably playing with Alexander, and Martial Law is playing too. I think where's the Solwind? Oh, so Dirt is on a shift called in. Okay, they're saying it's a standard set on Rain Sandwich X schedule for opposing weather, probably. Because I've learned in SPL that um, I think X schedule is allowed in the Bridge Sandwich, but you d you're not allowed to have a Tita on your own team. So you like have to. Like, if the opponent has a Tita, you can abuse the sand, but you're not allowed to have it on your own team. It's kind of interesting mechanic or interesting rule or ban. Sort of ban. Like extra plus send setter on your own team's band. Uh, is the timer not on or maybe the timer's not on? Like I'm pretty sure he's just clicking hydro pump. Uh hurricane, what am I dude? I'm 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 smoking dude, what am I doing? I mean I don't smoke, but like I don't know what I'm what is wrong with me today. 
In Padlop's game, I said <laughs> I wasn't sure if the Mijuna is. Yeah, finally takes Hyder with Kane. I don't know why it took him five years. In Padlop's game, I was like trying to figure out the Mijuna set when it was already revealed. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Flamey T just tries to catch Embo there on over prediction. But he's a substitute Keldeo, so. I don't think the. Actually, I don't know if the crit mattered. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure this Kelly you can't win the game for. I mean, they're saying this kind of wins. They're probably talking about the Kelly, but, like, the Kelly is low as fuck and it can't do any damage to the Jettison, so how does it win? You just, just go for Taunt. In case the Kelly wanted to stay in. Flamey Team making Goat read there. Wait, what? He's slower with his Tita, so it's a bulky Tita, yeah. But how fast is this Jellicent? Jellicent is 60 base speed. Okay, Tita is pretty slow, so that makes some sense. He does 61. But he does stay in and he's probably just gonna go for recover to scout. Okay, I thought he would go for recover to scout what the land was locked to tell him into. But yeah, Embu just take the black and white series, uh, black and white game. And I may, I'll i make sure to get someone on call for the next black and white game. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, this is kind of embarrassing to be honest. Like, my black and white narration, at least this time. Sometimes it's okay. But yeah, I hope you guys still enjoyed and stay tuned for the Sun and Moon Ores game that they're going to be playing next. And the Dockridge signing out.